I'm Jasmine Wallach, a senior defender, and I'm honored to represent Colorado College on behalf of the SCAC's Character and Community Program. So I always knew that I wanted to go to a small liberal arts college, and part of that was because I didn't have a specific field that I wanted to study. And I knew I wanted a school with really rigorous academics, as well as somewhere where I'd have the opportunity to play lacrosse and CC was actually the last school I visited and after I saw the mountains and met the people, I knew it was the right place for me. So when I came to CC, I had no idea what I wanted to study, but I took a few different classes in different departments and found that political science was something that I thought could be related to all different career paths, so I decided to major in that. So during my freshman year, I took a class on nonviolence and was really inspired by, by what I learned about it and it was related to a lot of interests I had outside of academics, like human rights and civil rights, so I decided to pursue that minor as well. Um, so after my sophomore year, I found an internship in Selma, Alabama with an organization that does a lot of work educating people about nonviolence um, in the teachings of Martin Luther King. So I was able to spend the summer there and I learned a lot just about the history of the town and it's really an incredible place because not as much has changed as you might expect. Um, it's still very much like a segregated city, so it was a really eye-opening experience and I was able to really apply the things I was learning during the time that I lived there. So last summer I worked in Boston, Massachusetts at the Consortium on Gender Security and Human Rights and I was able to pursue my academic interest in the nonprofit world by doing some research. And I primarily worked on a couple projects looking at how gender is related to urban planning as well as climate change. So I'm currently the student leader of an organization which is called Fruits Colorado Springs Homeless Collective. And I started participating in this group last year as a volunteer at Urban Peak, which is a youth homeless shelter downtown and now I'm the current student leader, so I've taken on a lot more responsibilities and we do all kinds of projects, um, including one called Faces of Colorado Springs, which is inspired by the Humans of New York Facebook page. And we're also doing different art projects with people in the homeless community downtown and continuing our relationship with the clients at Urban Peak. So during my freshman and sophomore years at CC, I was part of an admissions group called GOAL, which stood for Group Outreach Access Liaisons. And we had two primary responsibilities. The first was giving college access talks at local high schools. And the second was helping out with different prospective student events, particularly the Tiger Fly-In, which is targeted at first generation and minority students. Yeah, so I, I grew up playing sports and couldn't imagine um, not continuing that after high school. And so I had been talking to a lot of different coaches, but Stewie is just an amazing coach and she has a great personality. And I felt so welcomed by the team when I visited here that I felt like it was a place where I could really thrive academically and athletically. So it's really been an honor to be named a captain on this team. Um, especially because I have so much respect and admiration for all of my teammates, so to have their vote of confidence really means the most to me. So my teammates laugh about the fact that I'm a nonviolence minor and a defender all the time um, because I'm probably in person one of the least intimidating people on the team, but I've always loved defense. Growing up I played basketball and field hockey and in all those sports I've loved defense the most. Um, in the games, so I think I'm just a natural defender and I love being physical and I love that it's such an athletic position. Yeah, so one of the highlights of last year was definitely beating Claremont in the NCAA tournament in California. Um, we've been playing them every year that I've been here and it was the first time we were actually able to beat them and so it was just such a great win and a great way for us to finish our season. So as we start to wrap up our season, our team's really excited about our postseason prospects, but we know that we still have a lot of work to do. And every day at practice, we're just trying to keep getting better to prepare as best we can and hopefully continue our streak of NCAA appearances.